Today's video, we're just going to talk about how to switch out your motors on your electric longboard. So stay tuned. All right, so basically, um, where to start and the tools you need. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Um, my board in, in particular uses Allen keys or a particular Allen set. Um, I think in this case, it was like a uh, size five Allen key. I gotta start by taking off the plates on the back truck um, and then work my way through. So basically, we're gonna start there. So I ended up finding out that um, <clears throat> for one, the Allen key, I really, I couldn't get open by hand. It, it was rough, so I'm thinking I, I was gonna need a drill or something else to kind of give me the leverage I needed. Wow. Holy f So I, I hit up my brother-in-law and um, he came through with another Allen key stainless steel something something a little bit less likely to bend so unfortunately I got the tool it didn't work what we had next actually was um, his ratchet set so his ratchet set actually got what the screws loose so I was like oh yes now I can start I was like yes we can finally start the project get these motors switched, and move on with, with all the bullshit. Um, we took off the plates, boom, plates are off. Now, the wheels, we have to just take those off of the truck. And then get into the, the uh, unit here. Take off the cap, once you get off the cap, that's basically now where the, uh, the brains of the operation is. I'm looking at it and I'm kind of, I'm starting to notice like something looks different. So I take the connectors from the new motors I have and I bring them over to the, uh, right alongside of the existing motors. I'm like, there's something weird here. But I was just being optimistic. And uh, it wasn't until a few minutes later, my cousin pointed out that, whoa, I think they gave you the wrong motors. I'm like, wrong motors? I'm like, huh? I'm like, this is the only motor that you can buy from their website for your board, you know, for the replaceable like PU sleeves and all that. So now I'm, a little, I'm like, not again. So if you ran into the same situation and you bought these motors and you went to switch them out or swap them, and you realize the connectors weren't the same. Well, here's what you can do. My cousin came up with the idea to snip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna snip off of um, the existing, the old motor, and we're going to basically wire it to the new motor and snip off that piece, just rewire. So we're gonna need solder, we're gonna need heat shrink. We went for a little ride, hit the hardware store, grabbed those two things, we got our solder, Got a heat shrink. So basically you want to start off with wire strippers. You need your wire strippers. So that way we can get to the actual wire itself. If you don't have splitters, just be very careful. You can use like a razor blade or something sharp to kind of uh, make an incision in the sleeve and then just kind of pull, pull it off. But before putting the wires together we're going to slide on now one of these sleeves here um, these heat shrinks so that way when the wires connected and we solder it it'll be on there already and it won't interfere with our connection and we won't have to like pull it off um, we'll be ahead of the game at that point smoother the better the reason why it's going to help us out when we put the heat shrink on we're gonna apply some heat to the heat shrink so that way you can seal and tighten around um, our work. Once we do that, we're gonna do that for the next two wires um, for this motor and then switch over to the other motor and do the same thing. Once we get all the wires um, heat shrink separately, we're gonna take one larger piece of heat shrink and we're gonna slide it over the whole entire unit from that point.
Once we do that, the motors are now connected and ready to be um, installed on the board. Well, that's basically it guys i hope you enjoyed give it a thumbs up if you learned something new give it a thumbs down if you didn't and also subscribe i would really appreciate that thanks guys see you in the next one